Welcome to the show. It's Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live. This is a special edition because this is the Friday before my birthday. And I just I just want you to hang out and vibe with me for a little bit tonight. Is that all right? I'm gonna fix a little dragon martini. And um, so I'm, I think I made it up. Anyway, I don't think anybody else has a dragon fruit martini out there. Because who out there buying dragon fruit? Me? Because I'm extra? So to my ice, I added uh, an ounce. You can do it, do two ounces. But I just did an ounce of uh, rum. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Got my alcohol ice and let me tell you what what the star other than the dra dragon fruit star of the show is uh -uh. it's got a licorice taste to it so if you don't like it don't use it okay but um i'm gonna put some star anise in it and i put two cloves of the star anise and it's called star anise because it looks like a little star see you can see it on my dress there Look at that, right? So we're gonna add it just to give us a little, a little undertaste. Hi, cousin. Just that, so when you drink it, you'll be like, mm, that's that's something else. That's a little ooh, mommy. Look, ooh, mommy in your drink, honey. All right. So I put two cloves of the star anise. I got an ounce of alcohol in there. You can do more, but I don't need much. Okay. So um. I'm already to the moon, honey. It's my party. Got the alcohol, the star anise in there. Now to that, I'm going to add a little bit of cranberry juice. Just a little bit. I'm going to, oh, I, <laughs> hey. Hey, boo. <laughs> so, a little bit of cranberry juice. Mm. It's, it's quite a few ingredients, I know. But it's not hard. I'm going to put my martini glass in here. Because I want it nice and frosty when I get ready to um, pour. Okay. Um, I, honey, I found this gigantic pomegranate today. And you know when I saw it, it was like saying, Carla. 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 And I, I had to get it. I had to. It was on sale. I told you it was pomegranate season. So... Now's the time, boo. Okay? So I'm going to just roll it out just a little bit. Not hard, but I'm loosening up the seeds. Hi, Jeanette. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. You better tell friends that we about to be eating good in the hood. Don't worry. Dinner's on its way, but we got to um, start off with a little drink drink first. Okay? So get yours. I'm getting mine. All right. So I rolled it around just to kind of loosen up the seeds a little bit, just like I showed you last week. Okay? So, oh, sorry. So I'm going to cut off the tip of this. I'm gonna probably go by half. There we go. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. look at that. It's so juicy. Oh my gosh, and sweet. Okay, this is for our drink. All right, we haven't started the recipe yet. We're doing a um a dragon fruit martini, and if it's good. Then it's going to be my signature drink. So, you know, if you use it, just tell people that you got it from Sugar Pearls. Okay. Give me my credit, honey. Yes, the website is SugarPearlsOnline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Okay. So remember, I told you to, you know, score it along the sides. And look how big these seeds are. Mm. That's even sweeter than the last few I had. And it's, it's big and it seems like if it's bigger, you wouldn't expect it to be that sweet. But it really is. All right, so you might have been um, seeing in my stories and on my timeline. You know, I've been putting these little black and white pictures and stuff. Um, and then I would put a daily affirmation on there. So it's not, my mom uh, sent me a message. and me She said, are you celebrating all month, honey? I was like, no, I'm not. I'm a footy. But what I wanted to do 
was um, send myself some some love, some positive affirmation, some positive energy. It is so easy for me to um, beat up on myself, to talk about, you know, how incapable I am. I've done this to myself. I wouldn't even do this to a friend, but I've done this to myself constantly over the years. And I was like, you know what? How about for 16 days, my birthday is November 16th, okay? So how about for this birthday, for 16 days, you affirm some good things, some positive things about yourself. So you may have seen um, me reinforcing um, the idea that I am resilient. I am strong, I am capable, I am fierce, honey, I'm beautiful, I'm, even though I may not feel like that every day, it was important to me to say what I would say to a really good friend. I, I gotta be better to me. So I thought that I would do that. So if you don't mind, right now, this is where the show gets a little bit interactive, okay? So if you've got your drink, all right, and you you going before we do our little toasty toast. Um, I need for you to affirm some things. So as you come onto the show right now, hey, welcome. My hands are full. I can't wave at you, but I I see you, boo. I see you. Okay. Would you just go ahead and you know? So I see by your name. Um, for instance, Tara Laurie. Tara Laurie would say, I am unique. I am one of a kind. I am brave. I am how whatever just type it in right now. It can be one affirmation. It could be 19. I don't care. But right now I want you to say something good about yourself. Okay. So as you come into this show, just type I am and say something good about yourself. Because we spend enough time saying all the wrong stuff about ourselves. We let other people do it. We do it to ourselves. Um, you know, that that's not a good way to, to build strength. Um, so, I'm trying to be better to me. So, I thought this birthday, you know, coming, coming into 46 was going to be, a, I'm a strong black man. Thank you, brother. Okay, y'all got an example now? That's what I want you to do. So rather saying something to me, happy birthday, Carla. Oh my God, that, could you just say something about yourself, please? Like do that right now. I'm a pleasant person to be around. Hey, Donna, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Could you guys just write your affirmations in there right now while, while we get our little drinky drink on and we gonna toast to all the good things about us whether other people know them or not <laughs> okay so i want you to type that who said that hey boo i am wonderfully made my cousin yes you are the rest of y'all coming in i need for you to say something beautiful about yourself go ahead and type it in an i am statement deborah ah, my, boo! <laughs> my boo i am courageous thank you so much oh uh, thank you so much tommy um my knees are 53 my knees are 53 all right but uh when i tell you <laughs> i am so 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 happy uh to be in the land of living living honey millions didn't make it they say millions did not make it but but we did we did. So could you just type something real nice about yourself right now? Just an I am affirmation. I am. You are what? I am a very independent black woman. Come on, Aunt Naomi. Yes. And beautiful, I might add. That's my auntie. Okay. <laughs> so you know she gonna be fine. What? She gonna be fine. All right, so we got some pomegranate seeds. Go ahead. I need for you to keep typing it. Yes. All right, we're not done. All right, I'm a caring person. Hi, Walitha. Oh, love you. Hi, Nisi Shatara. As you guys are coming in, one, I need for you to go ahead and share the video. Okay, go ahead and do that. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Don't worry, it's my party. So you know we about to be eating good and honey. 
Okay. Um, but before we get to it, we're gonna make our little drinky drink. We're doing a dragon fruit martini right now. And uh, I just got some pomegranate seeds out. We're gonna add it to our liquor and add it to our cranberry juice. All right. What's up, Doc? How you doing? So as people are coming in, if you're just joining the show, hey, hey, um, go ahead and write, I am, and then I need for you to finish finish that statement about yourself okay so the point of it is um this year the gift that i wanted to give to myself um who 46 in three days mama can you believe you got a 46 year old daughter what anyway um it was important for me to give myself this gift and say kind things about myself um, even though there was a day or two in all of these, like every day, that I am fabulous. Yes, you are, Fee. That's my that's my Scorpio cousin. Yes, you're fabulous, honey. Um, I didn't feel great every single day. You know, uh, I am enough. Thank you, Nisi. With your fine self. Yes, you are. I love y'all. Doesn't it feel good to say something good? to yourself about yourself yeah mm -hmm. that's the point that's what and I figured if I could do that for 16 days straight then I might be on my way to creating a habit with myself that now instead of just 16 days of me saying I'm strong I'm resilient I'm beautiful I'm caring I'm a great girlfriend um I might be able to do that for days to come and I want to be able to do that for days to come so as you come in go ahead and type it in all right we got stuff in our shaker we're gonna add some pomegranate juice all right so we've got our little let's take our our little lemon squeeze all right let's just put a handful of pomegranates in there we're just gonna squeeze some juice out honey I ain't never made this drink before but it's called oh that was a lot of pomegranate juice honey it's called a dragonfly, I mean not a dragonfly child, I didn't change the name, a dragon fruit martini, a dragon fruit martini, okay? So let's get those seeds out, let's put some more seeds in. This is, uh, just fill it up to the rim and just squeeze the pomegranate juice inside. Oh gosh. Now, although this is um, this drink has alcohol, you could totally do it without alcohol and just have it like as a nice, refreshing drink. Okay, it's totally up to you. Totally. All right. But just for the sake of doing the recipe that and I made it up, um, we're going to add the alcohol, which we already did. Now to this, this is where the recipe starts to get. And we got the star anise in here too, right? Okay, so a little licorice undernote. Let's go ahead and add just a little bit of lime juice. Okay. This is a really small lime, so I'm just going to use both pieces of it. Alright, got that. Ooh, they're juicy too. Normally, um, the other week I had some limes. They were kind of dry. But that was super juicy. All right. Got your concoction. All right. Keep up. All right. So to this, I've got, and I wrote it down because I don't want to get it wrong. Cranberry. Okay. <laughs> a few red pepper flakes. I know. I know. But it's a dragon fruit martini. Um, and when I think of dragon fruit, I think of something that's a little otherworldly. You know? Probably a little spicy. You think of the fire coming from a dragon's mouth. Get it? Got it? Yeah. Okay. So everything is in there, including the red pepper flakes and all. We almost there. Almost there. Because I'm ready to toast. I want something cool and refreshing. All right. I need my glass. Got your little martini glass, nice and cold. I had it in the freezer. And now we're just going to start to shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> Let hey! 
you don't have to add the liquor in if you don't want. Okay. Okay. So if you missed the dragon fruit martini, let me just read to you what I put in it. All right. Um, I put an ounce of cranberry, um, an ounce of rum. You can use two ounces if you want, but I'm child, I'm already <laughs> on cloud down. I don't need all of that. Okay, so I just put an ounce. Um, pomegranate juice, uh, lime juice, star anise, and red pepper flakes. Okay, are you ready? Honey, we ain't, we ain't finished. As a matter of fact, we just getting stored. Okay, go ahead and pour your little... Oh, I'll, I'll turn you around so you can see. Hey! Okay, and in my strainer, I'm just pouring it, y'all. It's so pretty. So the color of the drink is actually the color of the skin of this dragon fruit. See that, that nice, beautiful magenta color? That's, um... It's the same color. Okay, so now you've got the dragon fruit and we're just going to take our little ice cream scoop and scoop it out. Okay, I'm going to make a nice little circle and sit it right there. Ooh, on top. Garnish with a few pomegranates if I don't get them all over the place. And there is our dragon fruit spilling martini. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mmm. Y'all. Oh my goodness. That those red pepper flakes hit you right right there right there like ever so slightly oh it's good okay we, we ready to do our toast did you do what i told you to do did you type in the affirmation the i am statement about yourself if you're coming in you need to go ahead and do that type in your i am statement okay i want you to know how it feels to say, say something like that to yourself something wonderful about yourself to yourself Un until the point that we just make it a habit okay let's make it a habit y'all i got the first thank you bridget you are amazing <laughs> you are mm, and so much more ah this this is awesome okay are we ready to toast all right get get your drink then we're gonna start supper all right, we got our drink. We got our little dragon fruit. Now, as, as it's sitting in there, you know, it's gone. Yes, Deidre. I am beautiful inside and out. Yes, ma'am. And smart and driven. I am a successful visionary. Go, Camille. I am more than enough, says Tara. Oh, gosh. I'm strengthened by listening to your beautiful affirmations right now thank you so here is a toast all right here is a toast to <clears throat> uh, future discoveries about self and life and friendships and <laughs> all things wonderful thank you thank you sweetheart um here is to many 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 more years of success and happiness to us all honey all right there is nothing about 2020 that i want to throw away nothing and i know even that sound kind of crazy to say but I'm thankful. 2020 taught me that I am, hmm, I'm stronger than I realized. 
I'm wiser than I used to be. Thank God. <sighs> Honey. Um, I'm more grateful. I mean, for everything, every, the, the little thing, the things that seem minuscule to some, I just find so much joy and so much happiness now. And I can only hope and pray that it gets better better as a matter of fact i'm i'm confident that it will i'm so confident um i'm thankful that i'm here to enjoy another year and um for the past year i've been i've been kicking it with you on fridays and that's a blessing to me in itself so thank you so much cheers to you for every good and positive thing that you just said you said it now it's in writing the proof is is on my timeline okay so when you start kicking yourself i can go back and say uh-uh you said you were more than enough mm -hmm. cheers mm. You know what I forgot to add? The vermouth. I forgot to add the vermouth. Honey, those red pepper flakes, like it's not it's not blazing hot, but it lets you know that is a it's a dragon fruit martini. All right, if you want the recipe, just rewind this after the show, honey. Mm -mm. Are we ready to eat good in the hood? Yes. Come on, honey, let me put this drink down and get to work, because that's why you came, right? For me to work and do my job. <laughs> let me tell you, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I was extra excited um, for this birthday this year. And, you know, most of all, I'm, mm, 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 I'm just so happy that this birthday fell on a pay week child honey you talking my struggle a girl know a struggle all right all right and i'm not, I, I'm not the struggle but you know the finance is a little bit of a struggle so i get this <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me y'all i am happy it fell on a pay week what the heck Mm-hmm. All right, let's get started. My oven is on because I'm, I'm going to show you what we're doing for dinner. Ready? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Yes, my sister Pat got me these fancy little toppers, this little silver toppers and stuff so I can reveal to you what we're going to do. All right, are you ready? I think I got it turned the right way. Yeah. Here we go. Here's what's for dinner tonight. This this was all I wanted for my birthday. Okay? And I got it. Ah! Jumbo lobster tail. That's what I wanted. And so that's what I got. I got a jumbo lobster tail. We're going to cut that up and we're going to double stuff it. So we're going to stuff it with some scallops. And we're going to stuff it with some crab meat. Say what? Say what, girl? Yeah, honey, you better share the video and let folks know that we about to be in good in the hood. What? The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. Yeah. And YouTube is Sugar Pearls. Mm -hmm. And Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online. Deidre said, I knew it. Yeah, girl. I, if I, let me just go ahead and put y'all up on game right now. I'm probably going to have a uh, lobster tail for all my birthdays. Every birthday. So don't be like, oh my god, lobster tail again. Yes. And that that's what she gonna do. Okay, so let's get ready to stuff this baby. Ready? Here we go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you down. We're gonna market that drink. Get it copyright, sis. Look, I just claimed that it's mine. If y'all go around here talking about you got a dragon fruit martini, then I'm going to take you to court with this video right here. 
<laughs> I guess I could take you to court. Mm. It's so pretty. It's just pretty. You can put your little lime garnish on there or whatever, but I don't need nothing else. Let me just... Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. We're going to um, finish this. Oh, wow. I think I got a little more left. Honey, that is good, good. All right. All right. So now we're just going to cut up our lobster tail. Hey, boo. Um, well, I... I loosened it up from the uh, cavity a little bit, but it, it's actually not that hard to cut open. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and ran at the last one. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just crack. Oh yeah. So if you want to loosen the meat up before you um, actually cut the shell, that would be great. It makes it easier um, to just pull it out and lay it right there on top. Okay, I didn't get the... There we go. Okay, look at all that meat, boo. See that? That's my face. That's the meat. What? That's your screenshot, honey. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So all I'm doing, there's a piece of um, skin, I guess. I, don't, I guess you call it skin. I don't know what you call it. Anyway, I'm going to just cut it so that when it butterflies, it'll just kind of bubble up. Okay. And open it out. So now I'm going to just rinse this through. And then we're going to very lightly season it. Okay? Alright. And I'm back. Alright, that was enough time for you to share the video. Yes it on purpose and thank you uh, to all of my friends who be sending people over here to watch the beautiful mess I make in my kitchen thank you <laughs> okay so now you have a beautiful butterfly piece of lobster tail skin rolled back all right now we're not done Hold on, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna, I want to flatten the bottom because we got to put stuff inside Okay. Put stuff inside. There we go. I'm just flattening that shell. Okay. So you'll have something nice and flat like that. So to this, get a towel. To this, we're just going to add a little bit of uh, Himalayan pink salt. This is very fine ground Himalayan, and that's it, because we're going to make a butter to go with this. Now, we're not going to actually make butter, but we're going to melt butter and then add spices to it. So, that's what we're going to drizzle on um, the stuffing, the lobster and the stuffing uh, at the end, okay? So, let me get a pan. All right. Excuse my area, honey. All right. Okay. Um, for my scallops, I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the bowl. I've, I'm going to you. You can use the entire eight ounce pack if you want. For your stuffing, um, for this is a uh, cream cheese. Okay, I don't want that much uh, 
cream cheese on my I really want the crab and uh, the scallops to shine through in the stuffing but I am gonna add four ounces of cream cheese to that okay all right sous chef take my plate away wash it thank you no I really don't have a sous chef in here but it would be nice it sounded nice to say hey 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 how you doing welcome to the show boo Thank you, Leela. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am. I am. Having a good birthday. Um, spending time with friends and family. And being here with you. This is this is good for me. Alright. I, I don't need a lot, honey. I really don't. Okay, so we're going to take our crab meat. Oh, here you go. There you go. I want you to see. I'm going to put the entire thing in there. That is many ounces. Eight. Eight ounces of crab meat. Now, um, you can do more scallops or shrimp or whatever. Okay. Um, but I am going to do this. <laughs> hey. All right, and this is softened cream cheese now. So I had sitting out for um, a good couple of hours uh, just to get really soft so I could have this. Mm, 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 mm. Is she eating fancy for her birthday? Yes. Okay, so you want that. So to this, uh, let's go ahead and add a little lime juice. That's about a teaspoon. in the grocery stores and really never thought about how to use it is a five spice powder so it's in a mixture of Asian spices and it just has an umami that is good on everything okay but we're gonna use a little bit of it for our crab and scallop stuffing okay so a little five spice powder that's about a half a teaspoon Um, how does it smell? So, five spice powder almost has like a, you can almost smell like a little nutmeg shining through, okay? But it's not just nutmeg. They're like a host of other spices in there. But four other spices, <laughs> okay? That's why it's called five spice powder. But when I tell you delicious, okay? All right, so... Um, with the lobster tail, the only thing I want to do is make sure I've got enough of an incision down here. So I'm just cutting it. I'm trying not to go all the way down through the meat, but I want to open it up just a little bit more. Okay. All right. And if it does split all the way open like mine did and you can see the shell right there, that's okay. Because we're eating, you know, the stuffing that is inside that, okay? Alright, so let's get a little bit of oil and our dip. I did not put my Parmesan cheese. Where's the parm? Where's the parm? Here we go. Here we go. So a little parm. So if this is not a full pack. This is a, what, a six ounce package. And I'm just going to use um, maybe three ounces of, that's eh, about four ounces of parm. Okay. 
So just get it mixed in there with your crab and your scallops or whatever seafood you want to use. Okay. And I'm going to take a little loaf out and just sit it right there on top. Can you see? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Y'all, I, I got to treat me right, right? We're trying to do more of that this year, right? We're trying to be better to ourselves. As you just learned in our exercise earlier, where you said something great about yourself, all right? Gave yourself an awesome affirmation. Um, this is how I take care of me, all right? I eat good when I want to eat good. All right, get that on there. And we can use this for something else later, honey. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to sit that behind you. And while that's going, there was something else. Uh, oh, give it just a little dusting of that pink salt. And just a little bit. <laughs> and let's stick it in the oven, honey. Until it's bubbling brown sugar. That's what we want, okay? We want it nice and brown and pretty. All right, here is your stuffed lobster tail. Twice stuffed, double stuffed. All right, we got scallops and we got crab meat, Parmesan. That is a nice dip, Thomas. You know what? I got some pita bread and I think tomorrow what I will do or sometime is um, melt, put that in the oven, melt it down, get it all gooey. And then have me some pita chips to go with it. Ah, this is going to be so good. Okay. Putting this in the oven, baby. Okay. I'm reloaded. That's going to be in there for about, uh, let, let's check back in about 15 minutes. 12, 15 minutes. Who really say? When folks say, I can do that at the house. Carla really does. You bet your bottom dollar, honey. Yes. I got to be frugal. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I'm gonna let that get some more of that alcohol. Just soak it up. Just soak it up. Honey, if you find you a piece of dragon fruit somewhere, be fancy. Just be fancy. The softer it gets, the sweeter it gets. This one is semi-sweet. Mmm, just right for a martini. Mmm. That is freaking awesome. Okay, I think I've got some more. Do I have more? Huh? Yes? I got a little bit. You know, we can't, we can't let it go to waste. That's all the goodies. That's all the goodies. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, so for our butter, all right, I just got just a little bit of little pan, all right? And I'm gonna turn that up because we're gonna melt some butter. That K. Oh, thank you, boo. No, you talk about I'm the bad boo, you the baddest. I be I be stealing your stuff. <laughs> my girl yes <laughs> the whole family can cook brothers too shoot tell me mm. all right i and so it was important so back to the birthday affirmations in my pan while it got it warm i'm gonna um let you see what's happening child okay so um there, there's a friend of Viva's, my girlfriend, uh, at, that we talked to uh, a couple of weeks ago. She and I had to share an experience with some ladies from uh, the ministry. And so I was talking to Adrian, and uh, she was like admiring my little setup here and you know, and I kept saying, oh, you, uh, thank you. You like my little so-and-so? And 
my little so-and-so at my little store and she stopped me mid-sentence dead ass and she said stop calling your stuff little yes yeah, she did and i was like "Ooh." she didn't know me from a can of house paint all she know is i'm viva's girl and she said stop calling your stuff little stop it like you gotta start saying better things to and about yourself and uh <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a revelation. Something that simple. You know, we we um we say things that are harmful to us without realizing them. Without realizing that. So uh, you know, you calling your stuff little, you know, your your little business. Mm-hmm. Your little t shirt company, your little barbecue stand, your little No. We gotta start speaking greater about about the things that we touch right yeah yeah i got a, a black female vice president for my birthday honey i can ask for anything i want what i'm gonna start speaking better about myself okay so that was the point of doing those affirmations for 16 days it is so powerful indeed and I'm learning because I'm so good at tearing down myself. I'll lift you up. I'll support you. I'll speak life into you. I'll, you know, I'll do all the great things for other people and won't do it for myself. You know what I'm talking about. I know you do. Because too often we've done it to ourselves. So that was the point of you coming on and saying, I am, and then finishing that great affirmation about yourself. Okay, so even if you don't do it on the show, honey, write it on your mirror. Leave yourself a love note somewhere in your sock drawer, or whatever. Just to let yourself know that you too are worthy of great things dragon fruit martini let me just say it's a touch of red chili flakes in there mm-hmm hence dragon fire breathing get it <laughs> get it okay all right mm. share the video honey right now because we about to be eating sugarpearlsonline.com is the website YouTube is Sugar Pearls. Remember, the sugar and the pearls are together. And that's capital S-U-G-A-R, capital P-E-A-R-L, apostrophe S. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I've got a lot of cleanup tonight. Mmm. <laughs> May you, we have to set that up, honey, so you can be a taster. Try some nutmeg. So, let me, I didn't do the nutmeg in the drink. Um, because I wanted to keep it kind of fruity, but still kind of, you know, just, just a little bit of, uh. but I did put some five spice powder in our crab stuffing. So we've got a little bit of star anise and um, nutmeg and just delicious spices all ground up. This is good. If you get a five spice powder and just leave it in your cabinet and then um, say you're going to do like a roast duck. Honey, coat that roast duck or season it with five spice powder. <sighs> It's just, oh gosh, it's, it's just a, it's, it's got layers of flavors, okay, inside that. So get you some five spice powder. I found it in the international um, food section of my local grocery store. Okay, oh, that's looking good. So the butter, you know, butter does have uh, a content of water in it um so as it's 
been cooking um, it's reduced just a little bit so we've got uh, some of the butter that's clarified on top but there's not a lot of water in here okay so you've got that delicious sauce under there that butter we're gonna drizzle this over our jumbo double stuffed lobster tail to our butter sauce oh I added the um, Himalayan pink salt, chili garlic sauce, um, chili garlic sauce, I think I put it back in the fridge, and some garlic cloves, some ginger paste, and that's it. Yeah, but that's our, that's our butter sauce. That's going, so it's got, it's got flavors on its own, that when you, Pour it on top of that lobster. It's just gone. Oh, thank you, Kenya. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> I put a little bit of, um, yeah, you don't have to put the salt in there. But I did. My salt, my uh, butter was unsalted. So I added just a dusting of finely ground Himalayan pink salt to it just to make sure it still had some good flavor. Thank y'all so much for the birthday wishes. <laughs> I'm going to take them, okay? I'm going to take every single one of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, butter is looking good. Let's look at our lobster tail. Baby! Broil. Okay, so we've got something that looks like the meat. Um, the meat is... Of the lobster tail is looking good if I do say so myself <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna put it on broil because I wanted to get a nice kind of color to it all right I don't want it completely light skin all right all right not not necessarily a debarge lobster tail we, we want a little Idris Elba in there okay just a little bit just a little all right so Ooh, we, honey. Mm. So I know I I just I was having a thought. Um, I want to remind you though that if you haven't done it, okay, for whatever reason, maybe maybe you missed the part where we were doing the positive affirmations about ourselves. You, that's okay but I need for you to do it not not for me not for the show or anything like that but um, me seeing that to myself the past 13 days has really made me look at myself a little differently um, I probably beat myself up more than anybody could ever. <laughs> I'm so good at it. I am. But for the past 13 days, me telling myself that I'm strong, I'm resilient, I'm capable, I'm worthy, that has done something spiritual for me. It really has. I got three more days of doing it. Okay, because I said that I was going to do that for 16, the first 16 days in November for my birthday. Um, but what a gift. What a gift that you could give to yourself every single day. Thank you, cousin. <laughs> Thank you, Mayhew. Thank you. Um... And realizing that even if, if you say those awesome things about yourself, you may have days where you don't feel so phenomenal, so magnificent, so crafty. Like, there, there may be days where you don't always feel it, but just saying that to yourself really does help you move a little bit differently throughout your day. I can't explain it. I just need for you to try it. Just try it. It really does. People, um... 
It's been crazy. I be walking out the grocery store and people are like, hey, how you doing? Now, I don't live in no small, teeny town. Like, you know, people are just used to doing that. But for some reason, people are, you know, um, how can I say it? I guess the best way I can say it is you attract what you are. Check the lobster tail. Thank you, Tara. Tara, you, um, girl, you, you, you need to write, I am clairvoyant. That's what you need to put, Tara. Mm, not only are you more than enough, you clairvoyant, honey, because that lobster tail is done. We ready to look. Are we? Let me show you what's happening, honey. Let your friends know. I just turned it off. Let your friends know. That is Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. I'm your host. I'm here on Fridays. Just about every Friday. Sorry, I had a little... Mm. 7 o'clock Eastern Time. We about to be eating good in the hood. Here we go. Oh. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. That is our giant. Put that in there. Let's go ahead and serve it up, honey. Let's just serve it up. How about that? I'm not even gonna wait. I'm, I'm just... Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> I just love seafood. Especially lobster tail. Uh -oh. Here we go. Get back on that! Honey. Oh my goodness. Now I got my, I'm gonna look for my other phone. I gotta take a picture of this child because once I jump in it, um, I may not be able to get a decent picture because I might smash this whole thing like tonight, okay? Oh, I see it. Here you go. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, so we've got our, I know, our jumbo. Double stuffed, <laughs> double stuffed lobster tail. Mm, we're not finished. Mm -mm, not by a mile. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do to really get in this. Okay. Just watch closely. All right. I'm just gonna. Take a fork and just kind of, you know, poke it a few times because um, you're going to pour your butter over it. That's what I want. Hold on. Before I do that, just watch that. Hold on. I just can't. This much. I'm going to get my salad from Joe Mama's. It's just a regular salad. Ain't nothing fancy about it. But I was like, if Joe Mama's got a salad, then I'll just eat theirs. I ain't got to go through all these changes. Okay. Oh my goodness. I feel so freaking rich. What? What? Look at that. Okay. Now let's take our butter and just pour. You ready? You want you want to see the pour action? Just pour. I won't pour it crazy, but and it's just going down into the crab meat, you know. Mm -hmm. Just like that. 
I know you wish you lived with me, right? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, look at that. Just look at it. Look at it. Okay, hold on. We we gotta take pictures, honey. Go. You better get your screenshots now, uh, cause she about to go. She about to go hard. Let's go ahead. I know I ain't gonna get but one or two good pictures, cause. I can't keep you on here forever trying to get the money shot, you know? Oh, boy. Let's see if my little broken, my little old school phone can get it. Ooh, what? Okay, definitely. You know what I might do? I might just eat off the other side. That way I can still take a picture after y'all go home <laughs> okie dokie double stuffed jumbo lobster tail hey boo <laughs> you can wash dishes thank you that would be great because this place is a mess all right get a little bit of dressing i think you got some balsamic on this for me I try not to do any um, cream dressings or anything, but this balsamic is just fine. Okay, and fork. And get a little knife. All right, baby, let's get ready to eat. Cheers to us. Cheers to us, honey. We are on our way to great things i know it i'm gonna go down the back side just so i don't mess up the presentation and i can still get a picture okay all right oh gosh oh my gosh it's perfectly cooked um oh gosh it's just enveloped in all sorts of goodies and spices very lightly seasoned on the meat itself but all those flavors in that butter that we made, um, the stuffing that we have with the five spice powder and, you know, the parm and the cream cheese and, you know, the crab meat and scallops, all of that is making for a really rich dish tonight. So I'm not going to eat the whole thing tonight. All right. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Make this and treat yourself right. Okay. Mm. Friday, I'll see you at 7 o'clock. Yes. This Friday, Danny Ross, order the book, The Messages We Keep. Until next time, honey, know that I love you. I thank you for being here with me and sharing a little piece of my world. Yeah. Yeah. You, um, y'all definitely make Friday sweet. <laughs> ah, I love you, boo. I hope you love me back. Bye.